What is going on, people? We got the way rocking it on the violin elegantly, and we got the trailer for the Honokai Star Rail special program live stream. So let's get it started. Star-flung trailblazers, welcome to Honkai Star Rail. Disembark into a world teeming with possibilities. Here, you will set out on a perilous journey. You will listen to the pulse of disparate planets and explore the alcoves of every tale. Your travels will bring hurdles to be mastered as the footprints you leave behind shed light onto strange lands. After the curtain is pulled back, you'll be sure to encounter companions from all walks of life. Rest easy. This is a journey shared. And... We can't promise there won't be any turbulence. But fear not. Though the road ahead may be fraught with danger, it is with reliable friends and competent allies that we find the strength to forge ahead. This is the distant horizon before you, stories that await the power of your choices. May this journey lead us starward. Alright, that was great. This is going to be a condensed live stream. For all the people who don't really have time to watch the whole thing, I'm going to give a quick small overview about everything that happened and all the key points. Let's talk about the lore real quick. There are the trailblazers are people with power called paths that were given to them by eons and each path are similar like divisions. We got two worlds we'll unlock when we started in 1.0. Bellobog been uh, split between the overworld and the underworld because of the eternal freeze is causing people to live in one area. It's not looking good. Uh, Jian Zhao Lo Fu has multiple races, the Vidyahara, the Foxians, and the Jin Zhao natives. And not available during the beta, during 1.0 we'll get the new area Exalten Sanctum, which will have new enemies, new items, more chests, and a different uh, story to it altogether. Let's go on to the uh, turn based combat of this, which is taking turns fighting the enemy beating them down so if people are used to the whole open world combat like Genshin Impact this is not it you're going to be sadly disappointed this is more of a you have an auto attack you got a skill and you got an ultimate you take turns between you and the many enemy and determine who goes first is based on the, your speed so leveling up uh, getting your speed points is priority uh, every time you hit an enemy and every time you get hit you get some energy points and uh, Skill points cost every time you use a skill, and using an auto improves your skill points, which is shared amongst your team. Now let's talk about what you're going to use the comet for, and it's going to be used in hard content such as the Forgotten Hall, which is the Spiral Abyss of Genshin. You'll be picking a team of four to beat some enemies, and you got to beat it within a certain amount of turns called cycles. The higher you go, the more difficult the enemies, and at floor 11, you'll need two teams, so eight characters, to be able to progress to further and further and collect more rewards like Stellar Jades. Another uh, difficult high content is Simulated Universe. This is more for farming relics, the artifact system in the game, where you could boost up your characters and get more rewards like Stellar Jades and talent, and trace material, advancements, ascension materials. Not available in the beta as well is a new event. There was a story mode in the beta, um, a side quest, where you had to participate in a fight club, and now they have it as an actual event. So that's going to be pretty cool on its own. Finally, let's talk about the best thing ever, the rewards, which you get 10 special passes within 7 days. As well as after unlocking the warp category, you will get 20 regular passes and a free survival in the mailbox as well as for a limited uh, amount of pulls, you will get five 10 pulls for eight passes, totaling to 40 pulls and at the end of it, you will get a guaranteed five star character. 
Also, there's the all-star event that's happening right now. I will put the link in the description below uh, for you to create a do-it-yourself ticket event, put your favorite character in, submit it, which you all have a chance to win some uh, crazy prizes and rewards, but also gives you some pre-rolling to roll for uh, a free four-star light cone that fits Serval. And finally, last but not least, and this one's a crazy one, is it's currently not out on PlayStation, but they are planning to release Honokai Star Rail on PlayStation. Let's just hope this is not going to be another Switch event, the Nintendo Switch event, where they said they were going to release Genshin Impact for the Nintendo Switch, and it's been over 910 days later, and we still have not heard a single thing. They totally ignored it, swept it under the rug, and pretended they, and hoped that we forgot. But I'm telling you right now, we did not forget. Anyway, here's just a little demo about more um, what's going on during the... Um, here's a little demo of the new area, the Exalting Sanctum, and it's being played in the PlayStation. So, looks like it's a lot better than uh, it was with the Switch. Anyway, if you guys like the video, su subscribe, comment down below, give it a like. I uh, appreciate all the support you can get. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Once again, appreciate everyone. Peace.